I've been in education for 10, this is my 10th year, and I've been at Gainesville High School for five years. I currently teach Principles of Ag, which is the introduction class for typically freshmen. I also teach Advanced Floral Design, which is the fourth level plant science class. I teach uh, Ag Mechanics and Ag Structures, which are both dual credit blocks in our Ag Mechanics pathway. And I teach Vet Med, which is um, the third year in the Animal Science pathway. And then I teach Intro to Welding, which is in the Manufacturing pathway, and those students will go on to NCTC to the welding program. For her to teach six different classes and teach them successfully is amazing. On top of that, she has to teach each one of those classes, not only face-to-face, -face, but virtually at the, at the same time. The growth of the FFA program since she's uh, been a part of it has been phenomenal. So I saw a program with a lot of potential. I just saw a community that's surrounded by agriculture, but it feels like a very um, urban type set of students and they, they're they really hungry for the knowledge that agriculture brings. So we've added more preps so that students can get a coherent sequence through a career and technical education and that led to adding a second teacher which has doubled the size of our program. She has a vision for the program. She knows where uh, the program, where she wants that program to be in, in two years and three years and five years. So the first year that I was here, we had three students that showed goats at the Cook County Livestock Show. And I can remember one of my students came out of the show ring and he said, Miss Broom, one of the kids leaned over and said, you're from Gainesville. I didn't know Gainesville had FFA. And it kind of took me by shock and I just told him, well, well, let's show them what we can do. And so that has led to now having a state champion four years later. She sets high expectations, but also um, gives a ton of support to those kids to reach those ex expectations. The Ag Building is, is, is the busiest building on campus. You go by there any time during the day and we're on the weekends at night and there's kids always up there. She's up there helping them. So sure. we were in 2016 borrowing a facility from NCTC, a makeshift facility, and we could house about 15 or 20 smaller animal species there. But our students started to yearn for more of the larger projects like cattle, and we had to build a facility that could house this many projects. So I know last year we had over 70 animal projects just here inside the facility. I would say 95% of our livestock show team houses their animals in the facility on campus. Our students are starting to complete these coherent sequences and get to their junior and senior year and now earning certifications. We actually had five students this year that earned a certified vet assistance certification. Now we have a senior on our campus who is employed at a local vet office as a certified vet assistant. We have students that are so fluent in Spanish that we take their knowledge of their language and our knowledge of leadership and we've come out with a state champion in the Spanish creed speaking. Um, it's so crazy to see a student who moved here at 12 years old and is now a state champion at 16 years old and being the youngest student in her class. I teach ag specifically because the knowledge these students are going to gain about agriculture is something they need to know just to have a basic knowledge about life. But I also teach agriculture because FFA is an intracurricular part of that. And when these students put on the blue and gold jacket and zip that jacket up, it doesn't matter where they came from. Um, everyone's on a level playing field and everyone has the same opportunities. And our students will tell you that when they go to an FFA event, nobody knows what socioeconomic status they have. Nobody knows what country they're from or what language is spoken at home. All they know is that student has the same interests as me, as me and we're gonna be a team and accomplish a goal.